What is the crack lads and welcome back to another player pack review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Serie A stars, the European League highlights and you've got a couple of uh, really nice players in this. If you are a newcomer or if you're looking to upgrade your squad with an end game type level defender, I think Koulibaly is an absolute beast. Tenali in the DMF, you get three chances of getting one of the 11 players here or well three of the 11 I should say. Tenali, Hernandez, Barella and I would say Koulibaly are my picks. We are going to head over to eFootballDB.com and train them up and simulate how they like how they progress with the training. If you want to turn them in, you can see there that Koulibaly's got six levels um, and he's got insane stats, man. He's a beast. He's also got unwavering form. He's got man marking, interception, blocker, aerial superiority, slide and tackle, heading, fighting spirit. This guy is an absolute monster of a defender in the game. He's also got a lovely height. He's got really nice pace with 78 speed. His defensive stats you don't even really need to touch. They've balanced it a lot this way this year that you don't really need to train up these players. This is more about just putting the final, you know, the cherry on the top of the cake. Whereas with the standard version of the players, which we'll get to in a second over on eFootballDB.com, they're more for like grinding the XP and training them up and it takes a long time to train it if you don't have a lot of XP boost. Now, also with Tenali, he's a guy that I would look at as well. He's got a really good play style, which is Anchorman. He doesn't have unwavering form. He's a standard form, but he's got nice acceleration and nice speed, insane passing stats for a 21-year-old DMF. He's also got 11 levels that you can see there. And he's just, look at his graph there in the top right-hand corner. He's just an all-round complete DMF. He's kind of like a Pirlo-esque player uh, in real life, and that's how he does kind of play in eFootball as well. So we are going to head over to eFootballDB.com, and we're going to start with Koulibaly, and we're going to compare Koulibaly, his special edition that we have here in the Serie A pack, with his standard version, right? So a lot of people have been asking me, is it worth getting these special edition players? I would answer you that with, with two, kind of, two kind of ways of looking at it, right? The first one is that when you get these power packs or you get these player packs, the packs that cost coins, you're getting the finished article. So you don't need to invest the time it takes to train them up to be absolute, you know, end game type players. Um, or if you if you have a lot of XP, the standard versions are the where to go if you've got the XP and the GP uh, to train them up and to buy them initially. Koulibaly, the standard edition is 300,000 here. But if you are looking for a quick hit that you don't really need to kind of like train up anyone, that it's literally you're just getting the most kind of bang for your buck and you don't need to spend any time training them. I think these are a good option if you don't mind, uh, you know, like obviously buying them. That's basically the, that's what you have to do if you want to get these special editions. They're not available for GP. So what I would say, right, is this um, version of Koulibaly here, which is he only goes, he only goes six levels, right? He only goes six levels with this. Um, he is not going to be one that is going to be like dominating, I think, all over the pitch unless you train him up and just pick where you want to actually upgrade because he's only got 10 progression points, right? I would choose, and personally, I would put the points into his speed. I'd bring that up to 80 uh, or 78 and I would put two into his defending and then I would probably, no, sorry, I'd put probably three into his defending um, to turn him into an absolute monster and then I would probably put one into his speed or else I would choose the aerial strength depending on whatever you want to do it but you're going to get a 93 rated version of Koulibaly with this he's got 78 speed and acceleration 82 header 71 ball control he's also got a defensive juggernaut of stats here he's just an absolute beast so he's got 92 tackling 84 aggression 89 engagement 84 awareness 87 physical contact. This guy is just an absolute monster, right? I think the only player that really compares to this version of Koulibaly, apart from his standard version, which we'll get to in a sec, is maybe up in Meccano. So we'll get to that in a second as well, towards the tail end of this video, where I'll show you a new compare feature that's been worked on for eFootballDB.com. So when we train up Koulibaly here, his standard edition, 300,000 GP, if you've got that burning a hole in your pocket, He's an absolute beast in a 352 or a 532. He's just, man, he's just unbelievable. He's got the height, he's got the pace, he's got everything. Once we boost up his play style, which whatever play style you're choosing, say we're choosing quick counter, we'll give him one into that. And then we're going to give him, match him. So we're going to match him with his other special edition of the card. And we'll just show you how he levels up. So 78 and 78. And then we're going to match this out to 91, which gets us to that. And we've got one point to pump into aerial strength. He matches up quite decently to his special edition cards. We've got the same speed, 
we've got pretty similar defense stats obviously there's going to be a little bit of discrepancy here and obviously the ball control and the heading on his special edition card is going to be a bit better he's got one overall better but i think that koulibaly is an absolute monster if you do get him he will be a huge upgrade for whatever center backs you have unless you've got beckenbauer maldini piaul whoever you're using back there like end game guys so next up we have got barella i won't spend too much time on him he's a really good all-round player 90 center or 90 overall center midfielder he can play attacking or dmf as well as left or right if you're really stuck and i think he is a good player his standard card is only 81 overall and you can see the difference if you hover over it's a cool little feature if you hover over his stats with his standard edition you can see that you know he does get an upgrade of about plus five uh, between plus five and plus seven on pretty much all his stats like you can see there are eight on dribbling between his standard card and we hover back to this one this is the car we're going to be looking at again we don't need to touch him if we're playing possession game but any of the rest of the play styles need to be boosted up maybe one um and then have the rest of your squad like higher like 94 95 whatever it is to have a good manager boost with him uh to get the play style to as close to 100 as you can but when we start to actually train him up you're going to be met with a lot of questions as to what type of player you want to play him if you you're playing him as a box to box cmf there is a lot of players out there for about 50 60 70 thousands um gp like pedri if you're looking for a ball playing cmf pedri is probably the best player in the game for that at a hundred thousand you know so you know what i mean so i think that borelli he probably isn't going to like hold his place in your squad but if you're looking to just have him as a cmf that is just kind of like a kind of a utility man kind of a james milner type player his stats are insane right so if you just boost up his defense right to 84 he's going to have defensive engagement 84 aggression 87 and tackling 82 stamina 87 balance 82 we're going to boost that in a second we're going to put pump his speed up to 85 we're going to put his or his speed to 80 and his acceleration to 85 and then we're going to pump in six stats to passing three into that three into dribbling and you've got a 94 all-round beast here 94 overall that's he's a really really good player he levels up really nicely actually he's got like mid 80s on all his main stats including speed tackling passing dribbling ball control absolutely incredible card as well when you actually peel away a couple of the layers of him um he is an absolute beast moving on we've got insigne i'm not going to spend too much time on him because if you are looking for a winger lads there's a lot of really nice wingers in the game and his standard card is actually very decent when you train him up because he's got 26 levels which is huge this guy's only got eight levels so as i said you don't need to touch his play style if you're playing possession game with the rest you do but if we were to just train him up his dribbling goes to about like a 91 ball control that's where i'd have him and then speed you're probably going to put that at 88 um 84 and 88 you're going to have a 94 overall player but again there is a lot of different and better um kind of upgrades that you could have to insignia here he's not this he's not the best player i think his balance is really good but yeah i mean he's got some really nice car like really nice stats but i think what lets him down the most is just his size you know what i mean if you are looking for a winger and you can't afford the likes of neymar i think diaz from liverpool would be a really good addition as well he's probably better in nearly all individual stats bar for a few um next up we've got immobile again immobile is not really going to be changing you know too much about it for you he's not tall enough to be your Lewandowski Benzema um you know Anucha Anuchu kind of type like in the air player and then he doesn't have the best of the stats then as you would think for like finishing he has 90 yeah but I don't think that his speed is that good his height isn't that good he does have insane stats but I, I don't really ever look too much and too deep at the stats he does go to a 94 overall but his ball control his dribbling lets him down his balance lets him down um you know he he's kind of in that mold of a romario style player but he just has nowhere near the stats that romario has son has and bappe has his standard version is 200,000 as well he might be worth a punt because he's not that much uh, better than his like max card here he's got 22 levels but yeah i would probably skip immobile if you get him i don't think he's worth training up or putting the time in that's just my personal opinion he just doesn't and click for me in the game at all next up we've got Handanovic again as with most goalkeepers there's a lot of goalkeepers out there that you could actually train up quite decently we're going to be changing the dial a little bit here and going down and try and getting his reflexes up to 90 and then we're going to probably just pump the rest up into whatever we want to do he's, he's a good keeper man he's got a nice height he's also got very nice um you know balance and all that if you want him to be saving shots from corners and stuff but 
He's only got one form, so he's he's going to be down more often than not, which is a bit of a pity. But yeah, he's not going to, again, he's not going to be a game changer for you because there is better goalkeepers out there. He's only 82,000 for his standard edition as well, which might be worth a pump or a punt. But if you do get him, let me know because I wouldn't rate him too highly. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, so now we're getting into Savage, who again is a CMF. He can play, as far as I know, a couple of different positions as well. And this guy is a bit of a beast. He's not the fastest, right? Obviously, he's not the fastest. He's more of a slow, slower kind of pass first player. So we want to just highlight that. We want to get his passing up to 85. We want to bring his uh, acceleration up to 75. And then you run out of... Um, you know you run out of stats so if we if we are going to be doing that we need to be able to really know what position we are going to be playing him like i don't think he's going to change too much in your squad if you've already got a really nice center midfielder as i said lads if you don't have pedri pedri is a guy i recommend if you don't have graven birch for 30k i recommend him as well and they'll outperform a lot of these guys even though their rating isn't as high next up we've got kalanglu uh sorry if i'm butchering his name or pronouncing it really badly but he's got 11 levels that he goes up to right and this guy isn't bad right obviously he's not the fastest but if we're playing him as an iniesta type player in the hole in the pocket what we're going to be doing is just boosting that up to 80 leave his speed that's fine we don't need that and then we're also going to be just looking at his passing, which we can bring up to 91 for lofted pass and 85 for low. We're also going to be bringing up his dribbling to have him as a kind of a tight dribbler. And then we're also going to be pumping up just a few more of these stats each until we run out of uh, run out of training. So he's a 93 overall attack and midfielder. Again, I keep going on about it, but a lot of players that are cheaper than him are going to outperform him. His normal card is 120,000. I don't think he's really one that I would be putting too much time into either. Now we're on to Berardi. Again, like uh, not fast enough. I don't think he has a base speed that's fast enough for end game wingers. Like you're looking at a Dama Traore who's really cheap if you want pure speed. Maybe Daku if you're looking for a budget option. He's got a nice couple of stats. Like, I mean, you can get his dribbling up to 90. You can get his lower body speed up to 83. And then you can have his acceleration at 85. But again, you know, not going to be good enough. I know it says 94 overall, but that's kind of skewed by his balance and his stamina and also by his curl and offensive awareness. So it's not a huge, um, you know, he's not an amazing, amazing card in my personal opinion. Uh, we have also got Hernandez. So this guy is very intriguing. He's got 12 levels, which is 22 progression points, which is huge. His regular card here is an absolute demon of a player in the game as well. If you don't have Carlos or you don't have Alaba left back or in that position, he is he's a beast or Davies and Fonzo Davies, he's a beast as well. Um, but this guy's got some really nice stats, right? So if you are a quick counter, we can leave that as is. If not, pump one into there, into the play style. But for this, lads, we're just going to be honing what he already has. 92 uh, speed. 92 acceleration which we have here and then also on top of that as well we are going to have his dribbling which we're going to upgrade a little bit there and then we're actually going to upgrade his defending quite a bit as well and the reason for this is because we want to have his aggression fairly high and we also want to have his tackling fairly high so once we have that there you can decide whether you want to put you know that back into aerial strength or you want to put it into dexterity or you want to put it into lower body i would probably put it into acceleration just so he's able to keep up with the fastest of fastest players in the game like neymar and stuff mbappe whoever this guy is an absolute machine lads for a left back he's a beast and he's got like really really nice skills ball control 75 is decent his his dribbling is decent his stamina is decent he's also got aggression 84 we could also take one off defensive if you wanted to just turn him into your roberto carlos style player we can do that as well we can just literally pump these up here give him one or two into passing and then train the rest of him there quite easily for a 93 overall 95 acceleration 94 speed 82 dribbling and 77 ball control so he is a really good guy as well if you do pack him make sure and give him a good bit of attention i think he's definitely worth it last but not least we've got tonali and then we have tamori tamori and tonali um the terrible twosome but yeah look 11 levels this guy is an absolute machine lads i think he's brilliant his regular card is only 64 000 gp if you're looking for a budget squad him and and pedri are absolute machines um but defensively this is where you're going to want to put this guy up like as much as you possibly can get his defensive engagement up to 85 and his aggression up to 85 and then we're just going to pump up his acceleration and his speed a little bit and then we're also going to have his dribbling to get that ball control up for the tight possession and then obviously his passing now if you want to turn him into kind of like a pirlo-esque player we could do that as well and take away maybe two or three from that and then put it onto the passing 
and you could have a really really nice player there um but i do think turning him into kind of like that last line of defense in your dmf type of position he does have anchorman so that boosts up as well when he's playing in game he looks like an absolute monster when he's playing and then last but not least lads we have tamori who is going to have 16 progression points which isn't enough really he does have a nice acceleration and uh speed base stats there to start us off right so if we pump that up and li literally just get it to 80 and 80 and then pump the rest into defending we're going to have a very fast and mobile center back that could actually be paired up quite nicely with Kula Bally lad. So don't um don't discount him either. We could also pump that into having 82 speed. That's that's one of the faster players kind of like David Alaba style. Um don't discount him there because he actually has got some very very decent stats. So last but not least lads, I told you that I'd show you a new feature that's been worked on. This is available in the eFootball DB app on Android at the moment. I know the boys are working on other stuff and other ways of doing it. Uh, for the web version and stuff but this is something cool as well if you see we have compared Koulibaly, Maldini and Upper Meccano and you can see here that one Koulibaly and Upper Meccano are 93 overall, Maldini is 95 overall um, and you can see the individual stats here as well that they level up quite nicely so that is it for me lads I'll be back quite soon with another video let me know if you enjoyed this let me know if you're going to be skim uh, skipping or spinning and I will talk to you in a bit peace